Hello, my beloveds. Welcome to a new week. Welcome to this week's Goddess Energy Forecast. Shall we begin? So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Abigail Mensa Bonsu. I am the founder of the Moon Goddess Publishing and the Moon Goddess Academy. So when I tuned into this week, this question came in. Where, what blessings have been sent to you, but you haven't said yes to yet? It's like you're sitting on your blessings. And because you've been sitting on it, it's creating back up. <laughs> it's like creating blockages to more blessings coming in. This is something that I've seen in my in my life lately. Um, and, you know, like on, let's see here. Was it last Thursday, I finally became an American citizen. It is a process that should have happened like 20 years ago, but it was a gift you know, that I received through my parents, the hard work of my parents. And I sat on it because I didn't think I needed to, you know, being a permanent resident, you know, the only thing that you couldn't do was go to jury duty or um, vote. And when I was younger, I was like, I don't even care about that at that time. Right. And it was a big blessing and gift that was given to me that I was just sitting on. So, you know, I'm telling you this story because what blessing have you been sitting on? Because you think that, oh, that I don't really, I don't need it right now. I'm just, no, not right now. You know, 20 years, that's a long time to wait. I mean, it's more than 20 years to wait to finally say yes to a gift that is so beautiful and, and, and magnificent, right? <laughs> right. Um, and so for you, it's the same thing. I'm sending you that invitation. Like this week, really pay attention to what blessings have you received and haven't said yes to yet. You're still sitting on it. And because of that, it's creating blockages for more blessings to come into your life. Or should I say a, a, a windfall of blessings to fall upon you? And I love that this is coming through because the solution is for you to just say yes to it. Because you know, it's not something that will, it's a positive yes. You know, these blessings are positive. You know this. The only reason you haven't said yes to is because you don't think is that important right now. But it is. Because as you say yes to the blessings and the gifts that the divine send to you, what happens? The universe is like, oh, you said yes, I'm going to send you more. Oh my gosh, you said yes again, and you're celebrating, you're happy, I'm going to bring you more, right? So this week, what gifts, what blessings have you received that you haven't said yes to? And because this is so powerful, um, because I, if you're like me, I know you're ready. <laughs> you're like, let the gates open, right? Like, let's just break the gate so that it just flows right in, right? And so I'm bringing through, um, I'm using an ancient form of divination to bring through the messages. And I don't think I've ever used this on the Goddess Energy Forecast, but this week it was coming through very, very powerfully. I haven't used this in a while. These are the runes. Runes are ancient, the powerful, powerful, powerful divination runes, um, divination tools. Um, oh my gosh, I just love them. I love them so much. So I'm excited to see what powerful messages will come from this. You know, when I tap into the energy of the runes, I mean, when you read the history, it will tell you more about it. But it reminds me of the whole journey. You know, we have Odin um, and you know, it, it, the picture that it comes in is like the, the hangman. And I should have just grabbed, um, I should have just grabbed the card so you can see it. It's like a, a man um, hanging upside down with just, you know, one leg tied to a branch on a tree. And the story is that he did that to himself because he needed a new perspective. And this, in the runes, you know, it was Odin who, was it Odin? I think it was Odin who did that. And as he was upside down, he got the vision of each, like the runes are symbols, right? They're also letters. Um, and so he began, this is one of them. Can you see it? Yeah. You know, he began to see these symbols and he took notes of that. And so when he 
released himself from that, you know, in his dizziness, he wrote everything down and how they were created and they were created. Of course, it's more to it, but this is what the part of the story that's coming in and how much is tied to the hangman in the tarot, right? And um, all the divination tools are connected in some way. If you really look at it, the tarot, the, the runes, like they're all connected. And so I invite you to go look up if this, after this, you feel the need to look into, you know, what the runes are. I mean, just go research, go look, go, go look it up and learn something about it. It's just, it's ancient ancient, old, old, old. Um, so the wisdom that comes in there, I mean, it drops, <laughs> it drops right in. And that's what I love about it, you know, especially with the, you know, the Saturn retrograde, you know, it's all about reality check is dropping into the reality. So the, these messages that are becoming in, like we want it to be, we want it to be anchored into our physical reality so that we can create the shifts and the changes that we need to do so we can we can um, experience that which we came here to experience. So the other thing this week is the solstice, the summer solstice, right? So the full sun, like I want you to charge yourself up in the sun. So let's see, today's Monday, tomorrow, Tuesday will be the summer solstice. So ah, solstice. <laughs> Make sure, see, there's so much coming through. Make sure that you spend some time outside. Write down your intentions. What is it that you want to accomplish? What is it that you want to create? And allow the sun to activate your inner desires, your inner intentions, and make sure these intentions are from your heart. So tune into your heart first. Connect to your heart. Let the sun enter into every cell in your body and activate your greatness, activate your fullness. This is a great opportunity to do that. It's a powerful day. We know, we know the power of the sun and it's activating solar codes. There's a reason why it's so important for us. I mean, look at nature. Nature needs the sun to live. We do too. We need the sun as well. But on days like these, when the sun is, is, is at its potent, where well, the frequencies that will be coming through are also very powerful and potent. So enter the day with reverence, with awareness, with consciousness. Think about where you want to put more life, where you want to bring more, which part of your life do you want to bring more life into? Which part of your life is missing um, that needs more sunlight? Let's put it that way. And then bring those sun codes to it. So let's see here. Okay, I think that's good. Are you ready to receive your message for the week? <laughs> so this week, the main, you know, like I wanted to talk uh, and just bring this up. We have the Saturn retrograde and we're in this Saturn retrograde all the way to... This is where we we were in this time in this Saturn retrograde all the way to October, right? And Saturn is really coming in to help us to build some solid structures and remove, you know, to cut out that the excuses, the the BS that we we that continues to block us, that we create to block us. So it makes sense that this week we're focusing on the blessings that you haven't said yes to yet that is blocking you because you haven't said yes to. It is blocking even more from coming in, right? So we're going to be breaking those, right? And But it also requires you to say yes. Look in your life. What gifts have you received that you need to say yes to? Do it. doesn't matter how long it's been. Mine was like, it has been more than 25 years. And I finally said yes to it, right? It doesn't matter how long it's been. Say yes to it. So with that said, go ahead and close your eyes. Let's see here. And begin to breathe into your heart. Begin to breathe into your heart. Place your hand on your heart, both hands on your heart. <sighs> breathe into your body. Go ahead and call in your divine team to surround you with a circle of divine love and support. Call in your higher self to come and anchor within your heart and acknowledge his or her presence within your heart. 
and now open up to receive the light and the unconditional love from the heart of the divine father coming down through your crown anchoring within your heart and then spreading out through your entire body filling up each cell within your body continuing down your body and let it come out like roots of light into the earth let it just enter into the earth and from there, go ahead and open up your roots and receive the same thing, the same, you know, the light and love from the, the heart of the Divine Mother and let it come up through those light roots, so roots of light. And let it come all the way up through your body, let it anchor within your heart and from there, let it spread out into all areas of your body. And I'll bring your awareness into your heart and just breathe into the space where you have the love and light from the Divine Father above, the love and light from the Divine Mother below, and your own divinity, your higher self, all three represented. And breathe into this space, acknowledging your presence, bringing gratitude for their presence, their love, their light, their guidance their activation and as you do this you begin to notice that all three lights begin to merge together and just like always it always looks like a supernova it just kind of explodes out creating a beautiful crystalline diamond bubble of light all around you bigger than the room that you're in bigger than the your whole house or your apartment just massive and just breathe into the space where you are connected to above, connected to below and centered within your heart. Breathe. And from this place of awareness within your heart, I ask the divine your team to show you what blessings in your life that you haven't said yes to yet that you need to say yes to this week and beyond it doesn't have to be just this week i ask that they show to you very clearly the opportunities that are for your highest and greatest good that you need to say yes to and i also ask that they bless you with the strength and the courage to say yes to it because sometimes the reason why we don't say yes immediately it's because of our own fears, our own ignorance, our own beliefs that step in the way. So I ask that they go and they clear our path so that these gifts will be shown and will come to us clearly. And when they do, may we have the strength and courage to say yes. Even if we don't understand why we need to say yes to it or what that is gonna bring us immediately. Sometimes you have to say yes first before the next step, the next level, the next picture will be revealed to you. Taking a deep breath in here and out. Beautiful. And when you're ready, you say, I am ready. I am ready. I am ready to see the blessings that I haven't said yes to that are for my highest and greatest good. And may I have the courage and the strength to say yes. Taking a deep breath in and out. And when you're ready, ask which of these runes is for me to help me this week? One, two, or three. And see the number or numbers show up in your heart. Once you have received your number of numbers, go ahead and open your eyes ready to receive. All right, so we already attuned these rooms with the energies. We are ready. Bless us. Are you ready? Okay, I'm going to start. I'm just going to pull for one at a time. All right. So this is our first room. If you received one, this is the rune that you are working with. And the beauty of these runes is that you can actually draw it. So you can draw it in your, um, in your journal. Um, you can 
draw it on yourself if you want <laughs> you can draw it in you know in the soil of the land to just activate it in the physical reality so let's see what this rune is about let's see here oh are you ready for this so this rune is about breakthroughs i'm gonna show you again breakthrough okay i love this okay so this rune is about breakthrough and transformation all right here we go open your heart to receive here's the final rune belonging to the cycle of initiation drawing dagas and that's the name of this rune dagas often signals a major shift or breakthrough in the process of self change a complete transformation in attitude a 180 degree turn for some the transition is so radical that they are no longer able to live the ordinary life in the ordinary way i'm telling you this week is powerful <laughs> because the timing is right. The outcome is assured, although not from the present vantage point, predictable. In each life, there comes at least one moment which, if recognized and seized, transforms the course of that life forever. Re re rely, therefore, on radical trust, even though the moment may call for you to lead to leap empty handed into the void. With this rune, your warrior nature reveals itself. Yes, are you ready to say yes? Yes. <laughs> if Dagas is followed by, okay, we don't have to worry about that. Okay. Um, a major period of achievement and prosperity is often introduced by this rune. The darkness is behind you. Daylight has come. Nevertheless, you are reminded not to collapse yourself into thoughts for future or behave recklessly in your new situation. Considerable hard work can be involved in a time of transformation. Undertake, undertake to do it joyfully. This last part goes perfectly with what um, Saturn is helping us to do, right? So again, Dagas, rune one. If you received one, you're working with this room this week transformation breakthrough this week say yes <laughs> okay you ready let's pull room number two if you receive two you are working with and hold on let me look it up first all right so if you receive two you're working with this rune symbol and it is called hagalas Hagalas. This rune is about disruption, elemental power, and hail. Disruption, elemental power, and hail. Let's see what this rune says. Change, freedom, invention, and liberation are all attributes of this rune. Drawing it indicates a present need within the psyche to break free from constricting identification with material reality and to experience the world of our archetypal mind. The rune of elemental disruption of events that seem to be totally beyond your control, Hagalas, has only an upright position. You can kind of see why it doesn't matter. How I turn it, it looks the same, right? And yet it always operates through reversal. <laughs> when you draw this rune, expect disruption, for it is the great awakener, although the form the awakening takes may vary. Perhaps you will experience a gradual feeling of coming to your senses, as though you are emerging from a deep sleep. Then again, the onset of power may be such as to rip away the fabric of what you previously knew as your reality, your security, your understanding of yourself, your work, your relationships, or beliefs. Disruption takes many forms. A relationship fails, plans go awry, a source of supply dries up, 
but do not be dismayed whether you created the disruption or whether it comes from an outside source you are not without power in this situation your inner strength the will you have funded until now in your life provide support and guidance at this time when everything you've taken for granted is being challenged another of the cycle runes the term radical discontinu discontinuity best describes the action of hagalas at its most forceful the more severe the disruption in your life the more significant and timely the requirements for your growth the universe and your own soul are demanding that you do indeed grow Hagalas, disruption the great awakener you see how powerful they are <laughs> perfect time and they go perfectly with the solstice and the energy of this week okay let's draw the the third one so if you receive three mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if you receive three you are working with this room let's see here there we go okay maybe it's this way yeah, it doesn't matter. It's the same. Okay, so this rune represents constraint, necessity, pain. And this rune is called not not these, not these, not these. So here is the meaning of this rune, the message from this rune. The necessity of learning to deal with severe constraint is the lesson of no these. This rune represents the obstacles we create for ourselves, as well as those we encounter, encounter in the world around us. Both can be equally difficult to handle. The role of Nathis is to identify our shadow, our dark or repressed sides, places where growth has been stunted, resulting in weaknesses that are often projected onto others. Don't take this world personally. This rune is saying, work with your shadow, examine what it is in your nature that attracts hardships or misfortune to your life. Oh, I love that part. Examine what it is in your nature that attracts hardship or misfortune to your life. When at last you can look upon the rune of constraint, with a smile, you will recognize the troubles, denials, and setbacks of life as your teachers, guides, and allies. The need for restraint is unquestionable here. Drawing this rune indicates that there may well be holdups and reasons to reconsider your plans carefully. Clearly, there's work to be done on yourself. So, take it on with good humor and show peace of perseverance this is a time to pay off old debts to restore if not harmony at least balance so mend restore redress when fishermen can't go to sea they repair nets let the constraints of time serve you in writing your relationship to yourself be mindful that rectification must come before progress and as always consider the uses of adversity what a powerful room this is about identifying your shadows now i love that you know if you receive three it's perfect because once the purpose of the shadows for you to bring light into and this week we have the most potent form of light due to the summer solstice she can really draw in this powerful light codes and ignite these aspects of yourself that have been um, stunted, have been ignored, and reactivate them and re-bless them, bring more light into them this week. Perfect. Whew. Taking a deep breath in and out. Place your hands on your heart and just breathe into your heart here. 
as your message or messages just anchor within you, in your body, in your awareness, bringing in gratitude for this guidance. Thank you, thank you, thank you, divine. Thank you for this blessing. Thank you for this opportunity to say yes to the blessings that you, and the gifts that you've already sent our way so that we can receive more. Thank you for bringing into our awareness where we block ourselves, where we stunt our own growth, where we hold our own selves back and providing us the opportunity to clear the path so that we can be more of who we are. We can step into even more of our greatness. Thank you for this and thank you for all things. So be it and so it is. <sighs> thank you for receiving this week's goddess energy forecast as always i would love to hear from you how did this land for you which one drew you in and how are you really gonna work with these runes this week again the you know one of the beautiful most magical ways is to draw them just draw each of whichever rune came to you you know just draw the symbol somewhere you can see it and that will activate its blessings within you. These rooms are teachers. Remember that. They're teachers. They're here to teach you something, to guide you through something, and also activate you, right? So really tap into whatever form that comes through. Tap into gratitude. Know that it is here for your highest and greatest good. All right, my loves, thank you so much for receiving this week's Goddess Energy Forecast. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Um, and then also, you know, if you know anyone who this these messages will benefit, please share this with your community, share this with your family, share this with your friends, so that they can also receive this blessing and transmission. From my heart to yours, until next time. Bye.